hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i am going to show you how to keep these arrows uh, attached to the players to the characters like this let's uh, enable debug camera mode and you can see this arrow i hit is uh, attached to this character attached and yeah that's the part I'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so yeah so in order to make the arrow keep attached to the character we need to connect attach this arrow of the object to the mesh of the enemy character so I'm going to do that in this BPI on arrow hit interface method that I have uh, implemented in BPI damageable so to make that happen first I'll open my human character yeah this is the on arrow hit event so here I need a reference to the arrow object in order to make it uh, keep it attached to attach it to the mesh of the character so mm, let me open this interface definition so here I'll define another actor arrow type of actor would be enough now I need to pass uh, this arrow reference so like this self because this is the arrow object okay now I have a concrete ref I have a reference to that arrow object here okay and here I get okay so let me delete this part and show it again right here in this method I get the closest socket so therefore I already have the closest closest socket and I'll use that socket to attach this arrow object to the mesh like this attach to component target is the arrow and the parent is mesh and socket name is this one and I'll connect it like this for the location rule let's try snap into target rotation keep uh, keep word scale keep word right okay let's see if that works Okay. Oh wait, I pressed escape accidentally. Right. Well, it didn't work. Why is that? Uh, this time it seems it has worked. Yeah, you can see the arrow is attached uh, let me pause this and go to toggle debug camera yeah 
the arrow is attached to the body of the character and here it didn't work I need to check that okay so here it worked but the problem is uh, it's not attached to the body of the other character by the tip of the arrow it's uh, by the base so the end of the arrow that's because this is the root no this is the uh, this uh, white sphere this is the root of this arrow object so that's why and uh, attached attaching happens from that point so that's the issue so how can I fix that mm, well, well I can't just move this arrow like this that's because I'm attaching this arrow to the hand of the character by this point and then again I have to fix that part as well so therefore maybe I can do something like this I, uh, when I hit uh, when the arrow hit that other object well uh, in that case I can get rid of this part as well so if I uh, move this arrow back like like this or like this or like this okay if I make it like this and it would work so yeah how can I do that here Yeah, maybe like this. I'll disconnect. This correction. Because if I move in arrow back to that point then I don't have to do this part so I'll disconnect this one and this one so it's nothing and we don't really need this part but I'll leave it like this and then um, yeah, after this I'll make my arrow I'll set set a relative location of this arrow I think it's okay to just change the location because the arrow is moving so fast and so I wouldn't really notice the change so yeah the current value should be like this and uh, I'll make it minus 30 here first let's make sure that uh, my existing system I haven't done any harm to that let's uh, check if this keeps attached to this yeah it is working okay no issue there right, now let's try this character okay unfortunately that was a headshot and It's a headshot, arrow will be detached because I am enabling ragdoll. How about this guy? 
Right. I think that worked. Yes. Let's uh, go over here and pause and enable toggle debug camera. Yeah, he has the arrow attached here. Okay, so that's what I want to do. And yeah, that's all. So I guess it's clear for you. Uh, let me know if you have any problems in the comments section below. And yeah, if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club right here. Link would be in the description below. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. And in the next episodes, uh, I want to well, actually, I want to fix the existing bugs and make give the AI characters to shoot arrows at other characters. And okay, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.